Hi, I am Urakar and I welcome you to my new tutorial video. Today I'm gonna tell you how you can play the Armies of Exigo game in 4K resolution. Firstly, before we begin, uh, you have to make a clean installation of the game. Uh, if you already have the game installed on your computer, you will probably have to remove it completely and then install it again. I don't know if uh, this is necess necessary, but uh, the person who uh, told me about this mod or this way how to make it work in uh, 4K uh, told me that I need the clean installation. So I'm just telling you the same thing he told me, but it's possible that it might work uh, as well if you already have it installed, but the safer way uh, is if you make a clean new installation of the game. Uh, then you will have to download and patch it, uh, download the patch and patch the game uh, to 1.4 version. For example, I have uh, the original Czech copy, a physical copy, and it has the 1.4 patch already in it. So I didn't have to do that. But if you are using the English version, I think uh, it always uh, have only 1.0 version in it and uh, you're gonna have to patch it. So uh, let's say that you have the clean installation and you've applied the patch and now you have 1.4 basic version of Armies of Exigo on your computer. What's next? Uh, first thing you have to do is to download uh, the basic Armies of Exigo Full HD mode. Uh, and if you want just to play it in Full HD, uh, it's basically everything you uh, are gonna need. But if you want uh, some higher resolution, it don't have to be 4K, it can be anything between Full HD and 4K basically. Uh, so then uh, I'll show you how to do that. So firstly, uh, you will need uh, this, so you will uh, download it. And if you do so, you will have like this uh, RAR file. If you unzip it, uh, you will see these two folders. Uh, this one is version 1 and the other one is version 2. Uh, you are gonna use uh, version 1 if you are using the Russian version of the game. For example, the Czech version uh, is, probably uh, is probably based on the Russian one because it works uh, for it as well. But if you have uh, the English version one, uh, you will use this, uh, this version of the mod. Uh, in both cases, everything you are gonna need to do is take everything on the left side and put it uh, into your uh, game folder. Your game, game folder, uh, I mean Armies of Exigo folder, uh, it can be for example here if you have Czech version or some other version. Uh, I have uh, for example have it uh, in program files and there I have uh, Armies of Exigo folder. If you have the English version, it will probably in something like program files, there will be probably EA folder and in it uh, you will have the Armies of Exigo folder. So you have to find it and after you find it, uh, you will open it. You will don't have uh, as many files as I have there because I have a lot of uh, check files and uh, other files here. So don't bother if you if your folder looks different to mine. So uh, you will open the folder with the game and you open the Armies of Exigo resolution mod version 1 or version 2, uh, which is uh, which depends on which version of the game you are using. So for example, you are using the English one, you will go here, click on Exigo XE and uh, copy it into the folder of your game. It will replace the basic uh, Exigo uh, file 
you can make a copy of the original one uh, if you want but it doesn't matter really so uh, let's say you have uh, the full HD mode applied and now you can uh, just run it and play in full HD but if you want to uh, use some other resolution you will need uh, this DG Voodoo thing uh, this DG Voodoo zip file uh, you'll find in the video description I'll put a link there for you where you can download it uh, it will be the same for uh, this you will have the link for this there as well so uh, after you download this voodoo zip you will unzip it and you will see uh, the same uh, files or folders uh, you can see right here you will take this dg voodoo cpl xe and uh, copy it right into the game folder here you can see, uh, see you can see it here I have already uh, I have have it uh, already there after you copy it uh, into the game folder you will go back into the voodoo folder and go into the ms folder and now you will uh, need the 64 uh, bits version or uh, 32 bits version. I think that uh, Armies of Exigo is uh, always 32 bit. So you will use this version and you can see uh, four files here. You will choose these three files, not the D3D8 file, not this one just the other three and then you will again copy all those three uh, into your games folder uh, that's everything for the copying or moving and now if you have everything copied in your game folder you will run this DG Voodoo CPL exe and then it will show you this uh, little window. Firstly you have to uh, choose the right path into your uh, game folder. Uh, you can uh, have it uh, um, uh, you can have it right here uh, from the beginning but if there is some other path or it's not your folder uh, you can go here through the add button and here uh, you will just uh, need to find your game folder in your computer. So for example here Armies of Exigo folder and if you are here you will just uh, click on open or uh, choose folder and after you have uh, the right path set you will go to the bottom part, uh, bottom part of the window here you can see three main tabs and you have to set everything here uh, basically the same way I uh, have it here. So you can just copy it uh, always. You can pause the video uh, with the right screen and copy the information. Uh, but uh, I will tell you what I remember here uh, that you have to change. Here you have to choose uh, your graphic uh, graphics card you are using. So for example for me it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX uh, 3070. Uh, you will probably have some other GPU. Uh, I think that the rest of the things here uh, remain the same but if you have something differently uh, then I have just adjusted to this uh, version. Before you go onto the other tab uh, just click on apply and then uh, go to the glide tab. Here uh, you don't have to have everything just uh, the same way I have 
you have to adjust it to your uh, computer or your device. So for example, I can uh, choose 12 megabytes here, but it's possible that uh, you will see only the 8 megabytes uh, option uh, on your system. So always choose the best option possible, uh, which you can see or which you can choose from. So uh, here 12 megabytes, here uh, the 4K version, and this is the most important thing. Here you can choose your resolution. So for example, I am using like 55 inches uh, 4K uh, TV right uh, in front of me. So I will choose the 4K resolution. If you are using like probably the smaller uh, monitor at your PC, uh, you will probably gonna choose uh, 2560 on 1440 but you can choose any resolution here uh, you want depending on your uh, monitor you have so uh, I believe uh, you will choose from these and here uh, again uh, choose the highest uh, possible option. In the bottom part uh, here it's uh, quite important to uh, uncheck this watermark because otherwise you are gonna have uh, some watermark somewhere on the screen in the game and you don't want uh, to have that so uncheck this and uh, make sure that you have uh, checked or unchecked uh, the same things I have here. And before uh, we're gonna continue, click on apply. After that, you can continue the last step. Here, uh, again, choose the highest possible VRAM you have uh, possible. Uh, here, again, eight or the highest possible and uh, choose the same resolution you uh, chose on this side. Uh, here again unchecked the watermark and basically make sure that you have uh, checked and unchecked the same things I have and again click on apply and if you have all these three tabs uh, filled the same way as I have or with your adjustments according to your system or uh, your device uh, click on OK. Then this window uh, is gonna close and that's it. Now you, uh, you, you should uh, see this dgvoodoo configuration file. If you don't uh, have it here uh, you probably did something uh, wrong. I think that it would probably be the path that uh, you've chosen. Just uh, go through it again and make sure that everything is uh, filled correctly. Check your uh, folder path, check the settings, uh, apply it again and uh, click on OK again and uh, the configuration file should appear here after that. If you see the configuration file here and you fill it uh, the same way I have, then you will uh, just run your game uh, through the version you are using. So for example, for me is this and now it's 4k you can see it already because otherwise it would be like smaller i'll just skip the intro and i will show you uh, the in-game footage for you to see that i'm not lying to you and it's really in 4k uh, here is a little problem the mouse cursor is a little bit laggy or not laggy it has uh, like latency it's not uh, as smooth as it is uh, in the basic version i think it's uh, caused by the 4k 
because the person uh, which told me about this uh, mode uh, is not using 4K resolution, but it's using that, uh, like, let's say, 2K resolution. And he said that he has no problems with uh, this latency. So it's probably caused uh, by the 4K resolution, which is quite big. But it's not that bad. Uh, you can uh, really adjust to it uh, quite well. And here you can see the game in 4K. Yeah, it's really sharp and smooth. If I, uh, if I would be playing it on Full HD right now, uh, it would be really, really blurred and not sharp. I like the image of it. Uh, but here in 4K it's really, really good looking. And I think it's quite awesome to have uh, this old game uh, without uh, any official support. Uh, so to be able to play it in 4K, it's a little miracle, I would say. So yeah, that's it. Uh, about the latency, uh, what is helping me is that I have uh, changed DPI on my mouse to the uh, lower or the lowest possible option. Basically, I have. Uh, normally I am using like 800 or uh, 1200 DPI and for this mode I am using like 400 uh, and then the latency is really really small and it's totally fine and you won't notice it after a few minutes in a game basically so uh, that's my tip just adjust uh, the mouse DPI and it might be a little bit better after that. Well, so uh, that's it. I'm gonna to shut this down. And it's everything I wanted to show you basically. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always ask in the comment section. If it helps you, I would be glad if you leave a like or the comment here for other people and I really want to thank you the person who showed me this because uh, it's it's a really really cool mode and I think that uh, well that it's really cool uh, it would be anything everything for today I will look forward to another tutorial video I might be making in the future but for now uh, it's all for today and uh, until the next time, see ya!